Welcome everyone. It's raining so hard. I don't know if I ever said anything, but my hair has been short for a while. Oh my god, and I have to sneeze. <laughs> so I figured if I'm putting my life on the internet, I would like to be honest. I feel like why not not put it all out there, but you know, a big part of me and something that sometimes prevents me from being able to stay consistent um, is having a hard time dealing with my anxiety and depression. It's not something I've opened up about super directly. I've kind of indirectly made jokes or just kind of put little bouts of it here and there out, but never really had like a conversation about it. But recently um, I've been feeling a lot worse than usual and I've been hitting this wall that I can't seem to get past right now. I haven't dealt with this in a while. So where do I start? So I've been on, I'm not gonna make this about like only my feelings but I wanna make it about my experience being on antidepressants. Antidepressant, antidepressant. Anti sounds better. I've been on medicine for three years now, I think. And I honestly growing up didn't even realize I needed to be on medicine. I didn't want to be, I was scared of it. Um, one, I didn't think there was anything wrong with me. Two, I was scared once I realized, you know, something could be wrong that's taking something would make me feel worse. I was very fortunate the first go around trying to find a medication that would work for me. It did work. But now I'm at a point where it is not working for me anymore. And once again, this video is not a pity party. I feel like I shouldn't need to say that. It's not, I just wanna talk about my experience because um, I'm sure plenty of people going through this, especially if you clicked on this, are wondering how other people feel on antidepressants or what to expect. So that's really what I'm getting at, but also trying to be honest about where I'm at because I like to put parts of my life out there and it's hard to do when some of it's not known. So anyway, the first medicine I was on, I was on Lexapro. Actually, no, scratch that. I was on Buspar. I'm not gonna go into every single medication I take, but Buspar is more for anxiety. That did not work for me at all. Some people it works really, really well, and me personally, it didn't make me feel worse emotionally. It made me feel worse physically. I had really bad headaches um, shortly after I took the medicine every day, and I just, there was no difference. There was no improvement. The only thing that happened to me whatsoever was I got really bad headaches every day. So that didn't work, and that was, I tried to not let it discourage me. That's another thing with trying medications for this. You know, sometimes it's it's hard to push through. It's hard because you feel like nothing's gonna work for you. And that's how I feel right now, but we'll get back to that. I talked to my doctor and I was like, I can't, I can't do this, it's not working. So we switched and that is when I went on to Lexapro. I would say after about a month, I felt really good. I didn't necessarily feel like happier or way, way better. I didn't feel so like anxious and on edge all the time. My mind wasn't wandering as much. You know, in a sense, I did feel better, but it wasn't like, oh my God, I'm the happiest person in the world. Like this fixed me. It's, it's not like that. Unfortunately, medicine doesn't do that. If it does it for you, I'm so jealous, but you know, it, it puts you in a good spot. You know, your every day doesn't feel so hard. It makes life easier when you find the right one. So I was on Lexapro for about three years and about, I wanna say maybe four or five months ago, it stopped working for me. I started getting very irritated. Um, I was having trouble being in the silence, like sleeping, you know, just sitting with my own thoughts. My mind would wander. My depression and anxiety comes out a lot in anger. I deal with a lot of feelings of guilt. Sometimes it's not even over specific things. Most of the time it is, but you know, sometimes it's just, it's it's an overwhelming feeling. It just ruins your whole day. And it's it's hard to want to do things. Where I'm at right now, I'm at a point where I have a pretty good routine that I force myself to stick to. And when you're depressed, sometimes that is just not an option. You can't get out of bed. Luckily, I don't deal with that. I think, you know, there's been times that I did. Present day, I don't. I just, just have a lot of negative emotions. That's the best way to describe it. So we're trying a new medicine since my Lexapro stopped working. Unfortunately, what I was scared of happened with this one and this medicine made me feel a lot worse. I cry a lot. I am very irritable. I'm very frustrated and angry a lot. Not at anyone, not really at anything. I'm just at a point where my everyday life, like I am so fortunate and I'm so grateful to live the life that I live, but everyday tasks feel so hard for me. Like when I look at my list for the day, I could have three things on it. It could be, I'm gonna go to the gym and I need to go to the grocery store. And I'm like, 
fuck, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Like, it just feels so stressful to me. And it's like the most frustrating thing in the world because it's not. Like, I'm like, Jess, this is not that hard. These are everyday things that you enjoy doing. I'm like, it's so frustrating because I'm like, just stop and you can't. That's where I'm at right now. I am on a medicine that is not working slash making me feel much worse. And it just brings out a lot of bad emotions and I just feel really sad about a lot of things. I basically feel like I'm back to square one. How I felt before I was on any medication three years prior to right now. So I am currently <laughs> coming off of that, which takes a few weeks and I am going to try something else. Cross your fingers, this does not make me also feel worse because I'm in the same boat right now that a lot of people get thrown into where you're trying things, especially coming from something that did work that your body just started to tolerate and you can't take it anymore because it's just not doing anything like it used to. So I'm in the boat of, is anything gonna work for me? It's super hard because you just wanna feel better. My experience on antidepressants has been very good up until now. If you're in the same boat as me, we're in it together. <laughs> You know, it's not always as easy as a good diet, exercising, spending time with family and friends, like doing things that make you happy. That's not always the answer. That's like a very good formula, but it's missing something. And that's what happens to me. So anyone that wanted to know my experience or the experience with Lexapro, it was scary, but it was worth it. And if it wasn't worth it, I would not still be trying to find something that's gonna work for me again. That was just my particular experience. And I'm still learning if you are going through something similar to what I'm going through or went through it, please let me know how it went for you. And if you're currently going through it, we can do it. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> I don't feel like this is something I need to keep to myself. There's other people in the world that go through this and you know, you guys could help me. Maybe this will help somebody else. Sometimes I just need somewhere to talk and let this live somewhere. Yeah, that was my experience. Thank you for listening. If you have made it this far, that's all I got.